machine. A point-and-click adventure game made out of clay and cardboard. So we're going to try this out. Very cool look to it so far. Uh, I hope it doesn't disappoint. Play game. Chapter 1. We are like the spider. We weave our life and then move along in it. We are like the dreamer who dreams and then lives in the dream. The Sleeping Machine presents... The Dream Machine. That sounded more ominous than I wanted it to. A game by Anders Gustafsson. Gustafsson? Gustafsson? And Eric Zaring. Zaring? <clears throat> Dream Machine Chapter 1. All right, so there's my little dude here. Found a lighter. That was complete accident. I meant to click on him, and I moved a rock and found a lighter. Let's pick up this fishing rod. Some pieces of wood. Uh, pick up this shovel. I'm just kind of seeing what I can click on. Examine the wreck. The small boat has been smashed into the rock. Okay. Is that how I ended up here? It's strange I can't remember something like that. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay. Let's examine the trees. Those coconuts? Can I go up them? <clears throat> no? Okay. Can I use... Let's see if we can make a fire. Place the wood there. Use the lighter. Okay, cool. Fishing rod here. Looks like a fishing branch. Yep, cool. Okay, this is pretty straightforward so far. We're going to try hitting the shovel on the tree. We got to get those coconuts somehow, maybe. Wilson! Wilson! The fish doesn't seem... To, the fish doesn't seem too interested in fighting, though. <clears throat> you shovel with ground. Examine hole. There's a worm. Oh. Okay. Let us put the worm on the fishing rod. Now this might be a different story. Come on, you stupid fish. It's baited with worm. Okay. <clears throat> Click on rocks. Oh, we got a bite. Okay, we got a fish. Let's go over here. Use the fish on the fire. I can't bear to skewer the poor thing while it's still alive. Can I put the fish, the fish on the ground? Can I use this with the fish? So that seems to have killed the fish. Okay. Oh, that looks nice and toasty now. Okay, maybe not. Now? It's getting brown. Come on. There we go. Grilled fish. <clears throat> I do want to get those coconuts somehow. We'll grab that. Can I try to use this to grab the coconuts? Okay, we're going to try this again. Shovel with the tree. Well, let's eat the fish. It tastes great, but what's this? There's a map inside of the fish. <clears throat> There's a map inside of the fish, you guys. 
Okay. So those are the rocks, and then it's at this side of the island, I'm guessing. So wherever those rocks are pointing towards. Like right here. You shovel with rock? Okay, that's actually not what I wanted to do, but... Let's shovel the fireplace. No, that would ruin it. Of course it would. <coughs> uh, map fish. Classic map fish. Like, are those the rocks? Are those the trees and then these are the three rocks? Those are the trees, those are the three rocks. Is there... Something more I can do? Like, with the ground. Okay, there it is. I just was in the right spot, I guess. Uh-oh. <clears throat> we got a clock. It's almost noon. These boxes were all we managed to move here last night. The rest of them, along with the furniture, should arrive later today. These two are filled to the brim with crime novels. It says baby clothes on the label. Okay. Contained books mostly. What about this lamp? Must have belonged to the previous inhabitants. It doesn't work. This view is so much nicer than the one in our old apartment. I'll miss the nature, though. Victor's clothes, okay. What about this painting? That's where I was, you guys. I was there. Seems a lot like my dream. Must have fallen asleep looking at it. They kind of... It has the kind of tacky charm that Alicia usually hates. Ventilation grate. Old ventilation grate. What about this box way up here? Bed spreads, of course. Push button. Lighting fixtures. Okay, let's go to the nursery, I guess. Examine these. <clears throat> eBay purchases. My old axe. A reminder of my dream of becoming a stage musician. Once we're settled in, I'll try to get the music career brewing again. These two contain parts of my precious vinyl collection. Contain some parent parental reading material that I'll dig into as soon as we're stable. This one's open. <clears throat> oh, it's these guys. I'm sorry, I can't remember your name, dudes. Is this the same studio that did that? Elo and Milo? Ilo and Milo? Maybe. Ah, there's a telephone. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Nope. Okay, we got the telephone. Uh, leave. <clears throat> Student literature. This contains things for the nursery. Enter the kitchen. Let's see this empty box. Oh, I'll just take it. Okay. Let's talk to Alicia. So until proven otherwise, I'm going to assume this game is about Krasnor since he just moved. Yeah, probably. This is Nathan and this is Brittany right here. Oh, you're awake. Thought I'd surprise you with breakfast in bed. Here, let me help you with that. No need. It's almost done. Could you set the table for us in the meantime? Just woke up, Alicia, and you're already expecting miracles from me. Ship, that shipment hasn't arrived yet, honey. 
We don't have a kitchen table. It doesn't have to be a table. Anything square and flat will do for now. Just grab the empty box by the sink or something. No! I'm too tired! Can't you do it yourself? See, this third option so far, the last three times, has been exactly what you don't want to do if you want to have a relationship. Of course, darling. Thanks, honey! No freaking problem. Are we just gonna... Can you put it by the windows? Where's the windows? The living room? Yeah, okay. <laughs> These three contain various knickknacks for the modern living room. What about these plants? Let's examine them. Some wilted potted plants, probably left here by the previous tenant. Ashtray. Pick that up. Seems to be the remains of a letter. Somebody tried to destroy it, but the fire didn't consume it entirely. If I unfold it carefully, I might be able to read it. That should do it. I'd better be careful when I rotate the pieces, they look very delicate. I'm trying to see how you rotate. Like, can you rotate? You must be able to. Oh, do I seriously have to turn the mouse? Oh. Alright, hold on. No. That's not it at all. I'm not being careful with it. Whoops, I accidentally turned the sound off. Uh... Hold on, let's leave. I know there's a game menu. There it is. Settings. Reading speed. Quality sounds. I already feel completely retarded. How the fuck do you turn- Oh. What? Okay, they're all the... right way now. <sighs> I have no idea what that was all about. Oh, you have to grab it by certain... Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. So, like, I have to turn that. You have to grab it by, like, the sides sort of thing. a bit more to whom it may concern
I don't know if these actually go, like, into each other or not. these pieces of the letter. <clears throat> okay. To whom it may concern, I'm hiding this note in the hope that won't find something going on in no what I'm not paranoid look under the floorboard below the light switch in the bedroom and you will see what I mean whatever that thing blah blah is mine and I'm not staying around probably to find out or whatever what it does perhaps you'll be able to figure it out that's like, that seems like roughly what it should be saying here. Okay. The most important part here is a uh, floorboard below the light switch in the room. Okay. Let's go find out. Salmon floor floor blord. I can't get it up with my bare hands, boy. Trust me, brother. I hear you. Oh, I hear you. Enter hallway. Let's see what we can find. Like a crowbar or something. This contains some of our winter clothes. No lights here yet. No lights here yet. It's her favorite coat. She wore it on our first date. Telephone outlet. Okay. I talk to myself enough as it is. Okay, move out of the way then. Who am I gonna call? Yeah, exactly. Nobody. Yeah, it looks like the... For me, it looks like sober. The sober music video. Examine mail. Pick up letter. Okay. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Neff, thank you for choosing Prosser and Ankovic Realtor Service. We hope you enjoy your new home for many years to come. If you have any questions regarding our services or if you have any questions regarding the apartment or maintenance issues, please don't hesitate directing them to our head office at this number, 555-497-680. We look forward to continuing to serve you again. Again, I thank you for choosing Prosser and Ankovic. Okay, do me a favor, somebody, because my brain is not all here today. Do me a favor and just quickly type that number in the chat. 555-497-680. And we'll come back to that. I'm just going to explore a little bit more if possible. So we'll open the fridge. I just noticed you can actually enter. Okay, cool. Anything in the fridge? No. Yeah, I kind of figured not. Let's go into the bathroom. Roll of paper. That'll work as toilet paper until we've done some more shopping. Lift lid. Close lid. Turn on warm water tap. Examine mirror. Hello, handsome. Only one hanger. Presumably the previous tenant was single. Skin lotion. It's expensive, but she swears by it. A nurturing blend, uh... Okay, Neff household stuff. Baby oil. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to quickly do a scan here. 
Make sure there's nothing I can take a look at quickly that I haven't seen. Okay. Let's go see if we can call that number. So, what was it again? Let's examine. 555-497680. Oh. <sighs> okay. That works. I had no idea it would do that. Professor Nankovic, how may I help you? Yeah, hi. Uh, my name's Victor Neff. My wife and I just moved into an apartment arranged by your company. Why, hello, Mr. Neff. What can I do for you? Our main service is that of a realtor, but we also extend a bit beyond that. We basically connect people looking for apartments with people who have apartments to rent or sell. But if you ever need help with things like renting furniture and negotiating leases, we also provide those types of services. Did that answer your question? Thanks, uh, that's, uh, good to know. Was that all? That's all, thank you. No problem. Goodbye. Bye. Okay, that seemed completely pointless. Let's go talk to Alicia. Alicia! Whoa, I forgot how creepy you are. Have you found something to put breakfast on? What do you think of this note I found? Hmm, let me see. I think it might be a hoax. It sounds too good to be true otherwise. Like something you'd read in a crime novel. He probably left us a present under the floorboards and wanted to rile us up a bit before we found it. Doesn't the fact that somebody's tried to destroy the note lend it some credence? Nah, he probably did that to himself to make it seem more mysterious. He seems to have made sure we can read the important parts at least. Either way, I think we should check what's under the floorboards in the bedroom. You do that, honey. Have you found something to put breakfast on? Yeah, I put an empty box over there. Great, let's eat. Just sit down and I'll bring us a breakfast. Hell yeah. Woman, get me my breakfast. Isn't this magical? Our first breakfast in our new home. I don't think this place deserves a tip, do you? That's so fucking mean. Yeah, I'm a bit skeptical, a bit skeptical about this box, though. We can eat in style once the moving firm arrives with the furniture. But how was it? How was what, dear? Your first night in our new home. Did you sleep well? I dreamt a lot, so I can't have been sleeping all that deeply. I toss around, okay? I tossed and turned a lot, but I feel pretty rested now. We arrived quite late. That might have upset your sleep pattern. We underestimate how long the journey would take by about two hours. Did you dream anything? I dreamt I was alone, on a small island. What did you do? I found a note in a fish. Oh wow, what did it say? It was a treasure map. How exciting! Did you find the treasure? I was about to, but then the alarm clock went off and the sound must have fused with my dream. That's when I woke up. It's strange how the mind incorporates real things into dreams like that. I read that it does that in order for us to get our precious rest no matter what. 
It only wakes up, wakes you up if it thinks you're in danger. Ah, it only wakes you up if it thinks you're in danger. It's comforting to know that my mind is looking out for me even when I'm sleeping. But what do you think it means? What? What means? Your dream, silly. Dreaming about being on a deser deserted island? I guess I need more solitude. More or less. It might also mean something else. Like what? You want my appeasing bullshit answer, or do you want to know what I really think? Why is the last option so rude? <laughs> I'd rather not hear it at all, bitch. I want you to tell me the truth, of course. It sounds pretty much like your standard escapist fare. You're scared of your new situation, and you're longing back to the simpler life we had before. The old cushy job, your old slacker friends. You know that's not true. Moving here, trying to raise a family with you, is going to be the best thing I've ever done. Still sounds like you're viewing it like some grand adventure. It was just a dream, Alicia. You're taking it too seriously. I'm sorry, Victor. I guess the force of pregnant mood swings is strong with me today. Don't I know it! So how was your first night? I slept quite well, actually. Wow! You must have been dead tired then. Yeah, I can... Usually I can hardly sleep at all in unfamiliar places. Did you dream about anything? I dreamt I was on a luxury cruise through the Mediterranean. I was on deck in a fold-out chair being served umbrella drinks. You've dreamt that before, haven't you? Yeah, it's a re reoccurring dream. Recurring, yeah. It's a recurring dream. It'll haunt me until the day you buy us that luxury cruise. Haunt us both, then. This is quite a breakfast. How long have you been up? Since about nine, I think. I was having a dream, but... After a while, it turned weird. That's when I woke up. What happened? Well, do you remember the caretaker that let us in last night? Yeah, I, I can't remember his name, though. Me neither. Norton? Mort, Horton? Something like that. He was in my dream. Sounds like he made quite an impression on you. To be honest, he sort of creeped me out. <laughs> That's all my fault, I apologize for the voice. It's keeping me sane while I'm reading all this text. I thought he seemed pretty nice. He was nice in real life. The dream version of him was kind of creepy. So, what was so weird about your dream? I don't want to talk about it while we're eating. It's a bit too graphic. What did the caretaker do in your dream? Can't we talk about this later, Victor? I'm still a bit disturbed by it. Speaking of the caretaker, he still has our key, doesn't he? Yeah, he said he stopped by with a duplicate this morning, but he must have forgotten. I better call him then. Sounds like a plan. I'll go wash the dishes while you give him a call. You want me to help you with that? Stop pampering me, dear. I'll be fine. Okay, we are making progress. See if we can call them and bug the caretaker to give me my shit. Bro. 
Officer Ninkovich. How may I help you? Yeah, hi. It's, uh, it's Victor Neff again. I have another question for you. Hello again, Mr. Neff. How can I help you this time? I'm trying to reach the caretaker of this building. You wouldn't happen to have his number, would you? What's the address of the building? I'm sorry, I don't know. We just moved here yesterday. I, I can't recall the exact address. Oh, don't worry. It'll come to you. You probably have it written down somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure I've seen it someplace. Just call me back when you find it. Uh, yeah, thanks. Bye. Useless son of a bitch. It's probably not written on anything here. You happy little dudes. Oh, you guys. Move that. I just want to spin you right round, baby. Right round. Like a record, baby. Come here. Come here. No, that's the wrong way. Come this way. Okay. There. Now you'll be together forever. The woman always knows the address. Let's ask her. Have you managed to get a hold of the caretaker? Do you know the address of this building? Nope. Slipped my mind. But we ought to have it written down somewhere here. Around here. Bye. Okay. Yeah, it's a great game. I wish it would too. Although I probably wouldn't play it again. I already played it on Xbox. Good time. Good times. Okay, so it has to be written down here somewhere. Where would I put an address? I mean, obviously I would put it like probably on a box or something. A piece of paper, like a pamphlet. Um, where else would I put it? Can we open this door? Have you called the caretaker? I was just about to check if the furniture movers had arrived. Call the caretaker first. I don't want to be alone when he comes with a spare key. Sure thing. Movers can wait. Thanks, darling. Old ventilation grate. Classic ventilation grate. Maybe it's in the fridge, cause adventure game logic? Okay. Where would we have written it down? I don't know why it would be on anything in here. Wait. Wouldn't it? I got a letter. It would be on my letter. Wouldn't it? Okay, it's not. Their address is. What about the envelope, though? There it is. Okay. Wait, Saskatchewan? Professor Nankovich, how may I help you? Yeah, hi, it's uh, Victor Neff again. I have another question for you. Hello again, Mr. Neff. How can I help you this time? Trying to reach the caretaker of this building. You wouldn't happen to have his number, would you? What's the address of the building? Uh, 12 DuPont Crest. That's the old building right that's the old building behind Esper Square, right? I think so. We're new in town, so I don't know where everything is just yet. Let's see here. 
I'm not finding any caretaker at that address. You wouldn't happen to know his name, would you? I, th uh, I think it's Norton. Norton, is it? It might have been. I was really tired last night, though. Nope. I'm drawing a blank with Norton. Could it have been something else? Try Horton? Horton, eh? It sure sounded like it, but I wasn't really concentrating. Nope, it must have been something else. There are no Hortons at that address. Could it have been something else? Y oh, you know what? He might have said Morton. Morton, you say? I'm pretty sure that's what he said. I have a Felix Morton here, but he's actually listed as your landlord, not the caretaker. That's why I couldn't find him. Would you like his number instead? Yeah, I suppose it must be the same guy. Then his number is 555-64-7533. Right, got it. Was there anything else you needed? No, that's fine for now. Thanks for your help. All right. Goodbye. Bye. Martin here. Hello. This is Victor Neff from the second floor. The couple you let in yesterday? Yes, hello, Mr. Neff. You settling in all right? Everything is fine, thanks. Well, I was just wondering when you'd be around to deliver the spare key you mentioned last night. Oh, I'm sorry, but I've forgotten all about that. Heh, <laughs> I figured you might have. I'll be right up. Thanks. the caretaker yeah I just got off the phone with him he'll be right up with the keys great it'll be nice to have the keys to our own place yep I thought you were going to let the caretaker in so what was your dream about you really want to hear it it's a bit graphic considering that you just ate. I've read about pregnancy dreams. I, th I think I can take it. Are you stunning up on pregnancy? Of course. I want to share what you're going through as much as I can. You might. You just might make a good father out. You are a fucking bitch. Anyway, I was sipping my drink on the sun deck when I heard the sound of running water. So I looked around for the source, when I noticed the water came out from me. Y you dreamt your water broke? That's what I thought, but after a while it was pouring out of me like a spring flood. Dreaming about water is pretty common during pregnancy, after what I read. Those type of problems aren't supposed to show up until menopause. Don't be a smartass, Victor. Sorry, it's just a bit too graphic for me. What happened then? So I'm sitting there, feeling embarrassed in front of the crew members. I remember trying to cover my leaky bits with a towel. But by this point, it's gushing out at me, basically, so it's not like the towel is doing any good. I'm sitting there, smiling apologetically to the crowd around me when I hear a sound. Like a cork popping out of a champagne bottle. When I look down between my legs, this fully dressed little man shoots out of me and flops down onto the deck. <laughs> As some of the people from the crowd help him up, I see who it is. The caretaker from last night. He gets up, brushes the water from his coat, looks at my private parts and casually says, That's the most interesting entryway to date. I'll have to make note of it in my journal. Then what? <laughs> That's when I woke up. What an odd thing to say after just being born. And does entryway mean that he's going back in at some point? 
He sounds more like a professor than a caretaker. Yeah, there was something dryly academic about him. That's just... He's just old, Alicia. They're all a bit dry. <laughs> Alright. Sounds like that caretaker made quite an impression on you. I thought he seemed nice last night, but dreaming this... Yeah, I can see how it would be weird seeing him again after that. I'll get over it. I just need a little time. Hello again, Mr. Neff. Here's the spare key. Thanks. Did you find the apartment in order? Everything seems fine. But I'll know more once we have a hat we've had a chance to live here a bit longer. Well, just tell me if you need help in any help fixing anything. Was that all? I'm a bit confused as to what to call you. Are you the caretaker or the landlord? The reason I'm asking is because Prozer and Ankovich didn't have you listed as a caretaker. I can see how that would be confusing. My family's owned the house for four generations. I rent out the apartments I need and I t try to take care of the estate as best I can. Making me both the caretaker of the house and your landlord. I see. Was there anything else? Fuck, whatever. I'll head off downstairs. Give me a call if you need me. Will do. Is that Mr. Morton I heard in the hallway? Tell me about your dream again. You really want to hear it? It's a bit graphic considering you just ate. In that case, I'd rather not hear it. A wise choice. Time to leave the apartment. Open left apartment door. Examine box. I think this box contains fire equipment. Doors locked. Open this door. That wouldn't be very polite. I don't want to upset our new neighbors. Whoa. Yes. Hello, ma'am. <laughs> Whoops. Hello, ma'am. My name's Victor Neff. My wife and I just moved in across the hall from you. Thought I'd stop by and introduce myself. Why, hello there, young fella. I'm Edie Jones. I'm the resident senior in this house. You live here by yourself? Yes, I do. It's just me and my memories now. I used to have a husband around, but he went the way of mortal men. I'm sorry to hear that. Don't be. I didn't care much for him anyway. There was only room for one woman in his life. <clears throat> she wasn't me, if you know what I mean. Did you say your name's Victor Neff? Like the actor? Like the actor, but he lived a bit before my time, though. But you must be related, surely? No relation, I'm afraid. I've never seen any of his movies either, to be honest. Ah, you're missing out then. He had a knack for playing brutes. He used to be a box to see before he took up acting. <clears throat> My throat is actually starting to kill me. I'm probably going to stop doing this charade. Then I assure you, our similarities end with our names. You seem like a polite young man. I'm like the caretaker here. Mr. Morton? Yeah, that's the one. You don't like him? How could I? He tried to get me evicted as soon as his father died. Fortunately, I've got connections with the housing board in this town. 
What do you know about him? About as much as I care to. I've lived here long enough to see him grow up. I knew his father quite well. He was a caretaker prior to little F Felix. A wonderful man. Unfortunately, the apple fell far from the tree in this case. Now if you excuse me, I'm afraid I'm being rude to my guests. A game of bridge between three is, after all, not a game of bridge at all. See you later then, Mrs. Jones. Just call me Edie. Everybody does. Bye then, Edie. Goodbye, dear. Okay, nice old lady. Let's see what's over here. Sealed off. Probably hazardous. Okay. So we are on the second floor. Ah, I thought that might happen. I seem to be having a problem with the elevator. The door jams every once in a while. You'd be well advised to keep some sort of grease product handy to use on the hinges, you see. I lend you some butter, but I'm, I'm all out, I'm afraid. That's okay, I'll probably be able to find something. Sorry for the sound disturbed you, man. I'll leave you in peace now. I have something. This, right here. There we go. Okay. Through the window. Whoa! Holy shit. Mr. Morton. You creepy, creepy fuck. That must be the key to Mr. Morton's office. Hello again, Mr. Neff. Did you require anything else? Strange as it may seem, my wife had a dream about you. Sure. Oh? Uh, what did she dream? I'll spare you the details, but it was something about a cruise boat and deck chairs. Please don't skip on the details on my account. Oh, I'm sure you don't want to hear it. Pregnancy dreams are often a bit messed up. I'm afraid I wouldn't know that. I've never married, let alone fathered a child. Was that all? So your family owns this building? That's right. My great-grandfather built the house back in the mid-19th century. It's gone from generation to generation since then. I'm the last in the line. Is there anything else? What can you tell me about the estate? My great-grandfather used most of it for his research. He was one of the first to study and try to remedy sleeping disorders. The patients would live in wards upstairs while undergoing treatments. But as funding became an issue, he sanctioned off, sectioned off more and more of it as apartments. In the end, this office, in the end, this office and the back room was all that remained. What can you tell me about the other inhabitants? They keep to themselves mostly. It's a pretty quiet house, and that's the way I like it. Apart from you and me, there are three other inhabitants in the estate. On the top floor is Mr. Willard. He doesn't get out much due to his disability. Next to him lives Miss Feed. She works as a night nurse at the Abbey Hospital. She's asleep during the day, so I rarely see her. Next to you, we have Mrs. Jones, a widow since a few years back. I'm afraid her age is starting to get the better of her. But on a good day, she's still quite lucid. Nothing else right now. Well, I'm here if you need me. Let's see what else you have there. Oh, this ink pad looks relatively new. Old wooden stamp. You creepy fuck. You make me sick. Let's go into the lobby. Oh, the movers. Let's look at our mailbox first, maybe. So we are... What are we in? Feed? Willard Jones. 
Okay, brittle. Yeah, I think this is ours now. Morton Estates, F. Morton, E. Jones, Willard, Theed. You Victor Neff? Yeah, that's me. You got your sofa here, sir. Ready and delivered. So if you sign the receipt right here, I'll leave it in your hands. You can't leave the sofa here. You got delivered to our apartment. It says nothing about an apartment delivery in the contract, sir. We deliver door to door, like it says right here. And technically speaking, the sofa has been delivered to a door. I don't buy that for a second. I think you managed to get our sofa stuck in the doorway. And since you can't get it free, you're just going to leave it there? You call it stuck. I say it's delivered. Sir. When did you stop caring about your job, man? Helping people move their furniture is my greatest passion, sir. And you're content with that? I guess I am. Come on, help me out here. I've got a pregnant wife upstairs. I can't get this free by myself. Well, I guess I could give you this complimentary crowbar. Pretty sure a big guy like you will be able to pry that sofa free in no time. Provided you sign the receipt, of course. Your moving firm is by far the worst I've ever employed. A thorough checkup is always recommended before employing someone's services, sir. Well, he's got me there. Fine, give it here, I'll sign the damn thing. I'm glad you see reason, sir. Here you go. You haven't heard the last of this. Signed and delivered. Personally, I consider this a job well done. I'm sure you do. <sighs> well, let's see if we can pry this door. That would seriously hurt. It seems to be permanently stuck. Yeah, okay. Well, we got the crowbar we need to... Take... <laughs> the pigeons! Yeah. The... We have the crowbar we need now to uh, pry that floorboard out. So let's go ahead and do that. Honestly, I kind of like this little house they have here. I'd live here. Probably. Crowbar. On the floorboard. Crowbar snapped in half. Damn. Oh shit, this is some lost shit right here. Looks like this device measures the amount of current running through it. This device seems to be where the current ends up. I have no idea what it does. Looks like some kind of fuse. This is... This, like, thing here... Looks exactly out of Watch Dogs. Like, for their hacking. So... Yeah. Take that for what it's worth, I guess. Okay. So this... Oh, wait. These are supposed to be getting here? I think the current enters through here. Oh. Okay. So it goes from there to there, and we probably need this to match up. Sisters, it decreases, I believe. Whoops, so that goes in there, that there. Shit, that's right. Okay. Uh. Yeah, let's do it that way, I guess.
that's where that has to go. That makes absolutely no difference. That will cut the power off completely. Examine this quickly. Oh, it's spare key to our apartment. Like, is this good or bad? Because I'm guessing I want it to fill completely. Unless I don't. Let's just turn away from all the resistors if possible. There's one all the way. Okay. 
bottom circuit. This. Whoops. Up here. Like that. To there. To there. Overloaded the fuse. It's probably designed to blow before anything else could happen. Maybe I can bypass it somehow. Get rid of the burnt fuse. Put the key in there. Seems to have been too much for power for the machine to handle. It's completely burned out. Wonder what it operated. Whoa! Holy shit! What was that? I thought I heard some kind of noise. I don't know, really. I did what it said on the note and found a circuit board on the floor after I tampered with the circuit. The painting flew up. Is that behind the painting, then? Not sure. So what is it? It's like a surveillance camera. Camera? You mean somebody was peeping on us while we slept? It certainly seems that way. But who would do such a thing? I don't know. The previous tenant, perhaps. Maybe he taped his sexual conquests. Isn't this a bit set up a bit elaborate for that? Why would he write a note leading us to the camera? doesn't make sense. Could be one of the neighbors. Neighbor? They would have to break in, cut a hole in the wall, mount the camera, draw a cable through some walls, all this without anyone noticing. You're right. Sounds like a bit of a stretch. I'd say Mr. Morton is my prime suspect. I was just about to say that. He had access to the apartment, told you, I got a creepy vibe from the guy. And if it was Mr. Morton, that means he found the note left by the previous tenant and tried to destroy it. That makes sense. If it is Morton, if this is some perverted fantasy he's trying to fulfill, I feel so violated, Victor. I think we should contact the police immediately. What do you think? I want to go down and beat the shit out of him. Don't, Victor. We don't know if it was him. Although it seems very likely. <laughs> and even if it was him, they'd lock you away for aggravated assault. I don't w and I don't want you to raise our son from the other end of a visitor's table. I'm gonna go down and make sure he doesn't destroy any evidence linking him to the camera. But now he's probably noticed that we've discovered what he's up to. I'll just go down, keep an eye on him until the police gets here. That sounds like a good idea. We have to make sure he doesn't get away with this. I'll call the police in the meantime. Oh, hi. Nice to see you here. Oh, right, she's calling the cops. 
I can't believe it, they put me on hold! This will probably take a while. I'll go down and hold him here until the police arrive. You do that, dear. She's just like, whatever. Whatever you have to do to make yourself feel better. Oh, right, he's here. This must be the key to his office. My hand is too thick to reach it. The rope isn't long enough. the door. I can hear him moving in there. I have to get in and make sure he doesn't tamper with the evidence linking him to the camera. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Mr. Morton, I know you're in here. You found your camera. My wife's upstairs calling the police. They'll be here any minute. Chapter 2. This is where I'm calling it. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for hanging out as always.